Hello YouTubers, it's now time for my next segment of my birthday tribute to Maybe I'll mute this just to be sure. But this is my next uh birthday tribute next segment of my birthday tribute to Mike LaRocco. I'm gonna be racing at St. Louis. One of the venue that LaRocco and McGrath had a good battle at in the actual race there in 1999. This is my second race. It's EA Sports Supercross 2000 for PlayStation. Hello everyone, I'm Art Eckman along with David Bailey. And this is one of the most actually, popular you know anticipated I Supercross out. events ever. Instead. David, the depth of field here could be the best of all time. The best I've ever seen. You have to go all the way back to 1982. That's okay. I thought I went to St. Louis instead I went to Pontiac. This should be a great race. This should be very hotly contested. There's the 32nd point. Here we go. And the gate is dropped. We are underway with the first heat. Morocco has the jump into the first turn. He's got the edge. Wow. Looks like Morocco. Boy, those guys got tangled back. Looks like they're okay. Jump down. Passes Morocco and takes over the lead. Race and of course, LaRocco winning here back in 1995. Well, hold on, everyone. I'm gonna uh, turn the volume of this down because this is a little bit too loud. And I'm gonna put it on pro and I'm gonna get to this. Is Whoa, you take a chance and make some contact. You gotta hope you don't go down as well. And I apologize if this is kind of flashing a little bit, but... Five laps to go. Mike LaRocco, looking strong. Mikel Michonne, dropping back into third place. Joe Dow, falls behind now. Windham, gets by easily. Kevin Windham, blows right past Henry. Peter is dropping back. Lasts by Kevin Windham, moving up into fifth place. Whoa! Larry Ward rockets past Doug Henry. Henry is moving up through the field. Albertine in second. Henry and Doug Henry are pointing it out. Doug Henry is making his move. Leader number three, Mike Morocco, completes another lap. Mike Morocco is much more confident on his equipment now. He's jumping from now, he wouldn't even consider last year. We're a triple in that section. Would you consider this track to be technical? Absolutely. Right after the start of the rhythm section, it allows for a lot of passing. Team edges off Morocco. Now they duke it out for all the marbles. He pulled that out of the trick bag. David Bailey is block passing considered legal. Well, it is if you don't intentionally try to knock your opponent off the course. If it's part of your natural line, it's cool. Three laps to go. Morocco is the current leader. Mike Morocco's a veteran, but just starting to ride his best on the great equipment he has now. You can count on Morocco if you can see him. Of course, in the actual race here, Mike... Showing off to the crowd there. That makes showing off. In the actual race here, Mike Morocco finished in fourth. Looks like I got a notification on Facebook. Showing off a bit. Greg Albertine 
Definitely be working on the finishing the south this weekend. Lord, grab some big air. And there's seven pretzels on that flight. Before I post this special, I'm actually gonna be post before I post this special, we'll the video before this uh, oh there's a collision, Morocco and Cortelli. That's what this sport is all about. Cross quarters racing, making clean contact in the corners as a part of the action. There's actually going to be a bit of a special video before this. Our leader, Morocco, around again, still looking relaxed and smooth. But when I but when I upload this, that video would already be up. A stylish move by Mikel Pichon. And this isn't going to count towards my series. Transfers to the main. Not exactly a decisive victory there. Should get interesting in the main. <sighs> Ward finishes in fifth. He's going to go to the LCQ. But we already have our four qualifiers in Larocco, Albertine, Pichon, and Emig. Dowd, Wyndham, and Henry are also going to the LCQ. Ferry and Tortelli will have to watch from the sidelines. I'm just going to continue on and just do the main event and get it off my chest. Well, looks like Henry and Wyndham made it out of the LCQ. So, there's your lineup. It is LaRocco, Emmick, Henry, Wyndham, Pichon, Albertine, Rainer, Hughes, Waugh, and Lance Snail. Let's go. We've got the 32nd point. They've turned the board. Wow, I timed that perfect. Emmy, stuck in traffic. Whoa. The show gets by number three, Mike Morocco, and takes over the lead. 
shown wasn't even done yet. to go. Morocco leading the pack. Greg Albertine drops into fourth place. Emmy makes a beautiful move on Michonne, moving into second place. I'm not sure what that was there. Of course, Mike Morocco is the current manager for the Kaiko Honda team. The Kaiko Power Sports Honda. Greg Albertine versus number five, Mikel Pichon. I'll be good. Morocco, still our leader. Dropping back into third place. Greg Albertine is moving up through the field. Jeff Emmy and Albertine are fighting it out. Mikel Pichon blows right past Jeff Emmy. Pichon is dropping back. thinking when they plan their line through the rhythm section. Uh, most riders can just look at these sections and figure out the fastest timing for the group. There's usually a faster way that not everyone has the confidence to attempt. The idea is to jump through with as fast a timing as possible, avoiding the one jump that slows you down. The leader, Luwako, logs another lap. You can tell he's been working hard during the offseason. Pichon falls behind now. Emmy gets by easily. Mikel Pichon is making his move. To a fan new to Supercross, David, they might be saying, what's with these stunts? They might be saying that, Art, but they love it. It's something completely separate from the race. It puts everyone in a good mood, the riders, the spectators, because it's just so much fun. Our leader, Morocco, around again, still looking relaxed and smooth. Looking smooth. Throw! Get some going with his trademark. Sebastian Waugh showing off to the crowd there. I'm hoping he would say that Waugh was moving up. Waugh, another rider I will be doing a birthday tribute to. Oh, they're loving it. Mikel Pichon gives his fans quite a show. Pichon grabs some big air. <laughs> There's some impressions on that flight. Seven laps to go. Mike Morocco is the current leader. Greg Albertine bringing the crowd alive with another of his patented stunts. Number 11, Jeff Emmy, showing off a bit. Kevin Windham drops into sixth place. Whoa! Windham rockets past Waugh. Not sure what position that's for. Drops into third place. Might be for fifth place, so oh, JSR doing well. That's what he's known for. Coming up on Lance Snail. The crew 
factories aren't big fans of the stuff. It's all fine until someone crashes or all the other crashes. Our leader, Mike LaRocco, completes another lap. A stylish move by Ellie. on the dirt for a track come from. Well, we store it outdoors locally and truck it in, so it's going to reflect whatever weather is David, what exactly is the rhythm section? Well, these sections vary all the time, but they're always a series of jumps, or double jumps, and plateaus staggered to give the riders a couple of different strategies to get over them. Mike LaRocco, still leading. He looks solid. Pushon is dropping back. Pushon and Albertine are pointing it out. Gutsy pass from Craig Albertine. Might be for third. Albertine makes the pass on Emmy, moving into third place. Yeah. Coming up on uh, Henry. Emmy moves into second place. Another lap for our leader, Mike LaRocco, is starting to pull away. Team makes a beautiful move on Mikel Pichon, moving into third place. A gutsy move on the part of Greg Albertine. Greg Albertine makes a move on Jeff Emmy and takes second place. There's a big battle now for third place. Mikel Pichon is moving up through the field. Gets by Pichel Pichon, moving into second place. Pichon blasts by Greg Albertine, moving up into second place. Jeff Emmy dropping back into third place. Three laps to go. Loraco is the current leader. I've already got this one. Emmy is making his move. Pichon cuts to the inside on Albertine. Gets by him. There's blind games going on. Looks like Pichon granted some space in his head. Could be the whole top floor the way this is going. Emmy showing off a bit. Oh, there's a spectacular move by Kevin Windham. That's what he's known for. All right, Chess, I'll help you out. Greg Albertine showing off to the crowd there. If I possibly can. Pichon falls behind now. Albertine gets by easily. And I try to sneak by him. Wah was in a battle with Hughes. Looked like for six. Two laps to go. Morocco leading the pack. Whoa! Mikel Pichon rockets past Greg Albertine. Number five, Mikel Pichon grabs some big air. And they're serving pretzels on that flight. Bringing the crowd alive with another of his patented stunts. David, the riders have very different attitudes about indoor and outdoor venues, don't they? Supercross is a tight sprint race. It also favors the riders who aren't afraid to jump in. Some guys just need more time and room. Pichon makes a gutsy pass from Craig Albertine. Number five, Mikel Pichon is dropping back. Number three, Mike Morocco is in the lead with one lap to go. Craig Albertine gets him going with his 
trademark. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to this. The show just passing Albertine. Drops into fourth place. Blake LaRocco getting the hole shot and going all the way to the checkered flag. The winner, Mike LaRocco, takes the lane and center stage at the podium. Great showing tonight by LaRocco. Amick finishes second. Michelle third, Albertine fourth. Windham fifth, Rainer sixth. Hughes, Rainer sixth, Hughes seventh. John Sebastian Wall, 8th, Doug Henry, 9th, and Lance Smale, 10th. There's your result. There's LaRocco, Emick, Pichon, the top three. Albertine and Wyndham rounding out the top five. Rayner holding on for sixth. Hughes, Wah, Henry, and Smale, the top ten. And I'll see you guys for my third segment of my birthday tribute to Mike LaRocco. So long, everyone.